going out to Sonship Earth taught me that the world is a very large and diverse place. And it was one of the experiences that I remember that really exposed me to life being far greater than me. But even though I was very small, I could put lots of big energy, even as a 10-year-old, into making sure that the earth would be here to provide that same joy and excitement and engaging experience for generations to come. Like brushing your teeth and with the water running, you, you do it without thinking about it. And then when you go to Sunship Earth or Earth Keepers and you learn how much water that's wasting, it's like, wow. I thought about the fact that we have such a limited supply of things on this planet and how we're using it like we have an endless supply and eventually that supply is gonna run very thin. It was kind of surprising how much energy we could save if we turned off the water or turned off the lights or if we turned off the TV when we moved to a different room. Using resources wisely was just about the best thing that I learned. Think about that before you use it. So I've just kind of been using everything a little more sparingly. Everything is living, not just humans and bugs and stuff, but the plants too. We need to start taking into consideration all the stuff that this world has done for us. Instead of just taking, we should also give back. The thing that I find unique about tree is that it covers three different things all in one. We teach about the science and we can teach a third of the students science in five days or three days and in ways that stick. Kids remember it and it becomes part of them. The second thing is, is giving kids amazing experiences. Lots of different organizations do those kinds of things. But we do it with a heart piece to it, so the kids get time to have some solitude. And the third thing is that they have something to do with this and that they can make a difference in the world. Kids come out a little resistant, first scared sometimes, not used to being out in the woods, not used to people who are relating to them as young people, more than teacher kid. And as they begin to open up, they learn incredible things. But they don't really realize how much they've learned until at the very end. And that's when they amaze themselves because they understand it on their level. They're learning science, they're learning language arts, and they're learning math. I witness them actually construct knowledge, um, learn from questioning. I saw motivation um, to learn that after that particular experience, once we were in the classroom and I mentioned the word science, it was no longer, hmm, science. It was like science. Science just became something new to them because they realized how natural it was and how it was a part of their everyday environment. All of the grade level expectations that teachers are expected to have the children master by the end of the year. They're able to really teach it so that the kids retain it long, long after they leave. The benefit to having it in the great outdoors is because their excitement level shoots through the roof. They're so active and they're so involved. Everything is hands-on. Everything is letting them get in and be active. They see the effects that humans have on nature. They are more conscious of taking care of it because they've seen the beauty of it, the wonder of it the fun of it and they don't want that to go away. We learned, but we learned in a different kind of way. They took the nature part of science and mixed it with the fun part. You could explore a little bit more with your mind and it was a little bit more fun to be out there experiencing things than just reading about it in a textbook. What was great about Sonship Earth was, for the majority of my classmates, from what I can remember, were city children like, like I was. Because we were thrown into this world that we were so unfamiliar with, you have no option but to search for even the most minute connections that you have with this person that's very different. I was forced to look at my Asian uh, classmate or my Indian American classmate or my fellow black classmate or my white classmate and say, all right, 
We got these trees, this moss, and these daddy long legs. We've got to figure out how we're gonna do this. And we got to know each other very, very well because we were thrown into this incredibly unfamiliar environment and we had to survive. It kind of was like discovering parts of yourself and part of everybody else that made you yourself. But at the same time, it was finding things that you knew had been there, but that you had lost. We get them to understand and see the nature from different perspectives and using all of their senses. They become ignited to do the things and to take that information on and have a power within them to express that to other people. 